Yo, what's going on today? I'm super excited mainly because I got my product in that I ordered a while ago. And the product that I got from Japan is called the Muso Black. It is claimed to be the blackest black paint that you can get on the open market. So I'm super excited to try this out because there's so many different things that an artist can really talk about in the work and try out with sort of paint that sort of absorbs light and just has that sense of voidness and doesn't reflect at all. So I really want to know exactly how black this paint is you know how hot sauce company claims that they have the hottest hot sauce you know this company is claiming that it is the blackest black that you can get i want to know how black is it is it like wakanda black okay that is what we're trying to figure out how black is it so i picked up a couple different items at the store we're going to sort of coat those items with this paint right here and just see how black does the items get you know in daylight so that's what we're going to do today so let's get started so one of the first things that i did was actually just pick up a couple items from goodwill uh some throwaway items i just wanted to coat and on the website of the uh the paint they basically said that the best way to sort of coat anything that you're you're wanting to uh paint on is to use a sort of a sprayer or an airbrush so I, I basically broke out my airbrush i haven't used this thing in so long so i broke it out and started just using the airbrush so one reason why i think they want you to do the airbrush is because they want you to really just build up these layers kind of slowly and you know thin layers over and over and over so that you're sort of getting this sort of rough coarse texture on the surface almost kind of like sandpaper and i think that is one reason why you know it just helps sort of absorb or sort of just like not allow for a lot of reflection to happen with this type of paint I also made sure I wore gloves because this paint is so concentrated that it seems like it's tough if it gets on your bare skin to kind of get it off. So definitely make sure if you get some, wear gloves. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what I started to do. And just airbrush pretty much the entire sort of uh, three items that I had and this orange. So I wanted to see exactly what each sort of item would do. Uh, with the paint because this orange has sort of like a coarse texture but it's sort of smoother than a lot of the other uh, items that I had and it's just it's just round and then sort of like this porcelain sort of uh, figure of this boy you know I just wanted to see exactly you know what the different curvatures of the sort of the figure would actually do but um, really just going around and making sure that I get a ton of paint on this slowly so I didn't sort of work in two area too much if you do work in one area too much it starts to get kind of glossy and when it gets glossy or sort of looks wet that's when you sort of have to stop and sort of let it dry a little bit so I just went back and forth back and forth with some of these items layering it as much as I can so I'm super excited just to be able to work with anything that is considered the blackest of the black paint. If you don't know the story, a technology company in the UK, I believe it's Siri Nanotech, uh, made this nanotube technology that basically absorbs a ton of light, 99.9% .9 of light. So basically, you know, it just eliminates, you know, every sort of reflection that you can see. And it's not like it's bucket paint at all. It's like they have to grow the material in their lab and like it's nanotube. So basically it is 3000 times smaller than the human hair, which is really, really small. That's how it's able to absorb and trap any light that sort of touches it. So that is one of the sort of the beginnings of the story. The, the second part of it is uh, an artist named Anish Kapoor uh, from the UK, a very sort of famous artist, conceptual artist. He actually did that mirrored blob uh, sculpture in Chicago that everyone takes a picture in front of. But he acquired the exclusive uh, license for this uh, technology or this sort of substance and no other artist can sort of have their hands on it. So there's been sort of a few artists like uh, Stuart Simple trying to create uh, sort of other substances that can sort of mimic um, sort of what the Vanta Black does. So they're trying to create the Black is Black and have it available for a ton of artists because 
this sort of uh, type of material I think is really really useful but it sucks that you know one artist is trying to monopolize the entire sort of uh, material world right there so that is basically the story and this Japanese company um, basically came out with their version of the blackest black uh, Stuart Simple's version I tried um, and it was okay but it just didn't really work out for me but um, working with this material on these items has been really really uh, interesting and on this part I actually uh, used a brush because like I said before they said you had to sort of uh, airbrush it on that's the best way but I wanted to see what it looked like with the brush as well does that really matter because not everyone has an airbrush as well so I tried the uh, brushwork on this one and you can kind of see the difference you actually can see the difference when you brush it on versus when you sort of layer it slowly with the airbrush and they both are sort of really textured you can feel it but the one I airbrushed on really has a rough texture same with these other items but you can kind of see the difference and see exactly what they look like they do sort of absorb a lot of light um, so I do really think this uh, paint uh, works in certain circumstances so depending on like the angle where the lights are how much light sort of is uh, showing whether you're seeing it in person versus uh, through a camera lens I think makes a big difference as well but um, I really like this product I think there's a lot to sort of um, to do with this sort of uh, paint and I'm really glad that I did buy it I actually went back with my phone and tried to see if I can change the the brightness and see you know what that would do so you know increasing the exposure and then lowering the exposure you know what what uh, level would it allow me to sort of make everything just disappear all the curvatures disappear and make it look like a silhouette so there's a lot you can actually do with this one of the things that I noticed was that as I was handling some of the different items it was the texture was really coarse and the texture was really rough like sandpaper but the more I did it the more I pressed down the more sort of I flattened out that texture and then started to see reflection so you really have to be careful when handling it and making sure that you don't sort of scuff it up so after airbrushing it you want to make sure that you handle it very delicately and sort of not sort of press down as you know hard as you can so I'm super excited about the results. This is some really good uh, sort of black black paint. And I just had fun with these fruits. I had about 100 milliliters uh, in there, but I had a lot left too. So I actually did another fruit, my banana for the next day and had fun just painting that and just seeing how it sort of disappeared into uh, my studio and become a silhouette. So hopefully you liked the video and the review. And you know, like I said, this is super fun for me to do and just to see how black it gets it doesn't get you know you know so black that you can't see it even in broad daylight uh, it doesn't absorb you know 100% of the light nothing really does but this absorbs a lot of light it'll get you 96 97 percent ish of the way there uh, so I think this product is something that a lot of artists and creatives can use just to talk about voidness or a concept when it comes to you know just black and for me this is definitely like I said a fun project just to work with you know paint that I've considered the blackest paint that I've ever worked with on the open market and I will have a link in the bio for you to sort of purchase some of your own it was only like 50 bucks uh, to purchase it and ship it but uh, I think I really really like this product and I hope you guys experiment with it as well and sort of post up your projects and hopefully like I said you like this video make sure you like subscribe and I will see you next time peace